So at the end of the period, I could just go in here and open them up and change the date range and then bundle them together. So I'm this time gonna save them as a PDF file and imagine we're gonna provide them to someone possibly in a, in a zipped file for an email or possibly using like a cloud drive. So I can open each one of these, simply change the date range up top, and then I'm just gonna print it. Drop down, report, export to a PDF. And I've got my smart page breaks. It's gonna be portrait, repeat page header. That looks good. Let's save it as a PDF. I'm in Chrome, so it's gonna be populating down here. I'm gonna put that into my folder. I'm gonna minimize, I got my folder right here. That's where I want it to go. Test drive, reports. So I'm just gonna add it to my reports folder. And uh, let's go actually into here. And so I'm just gonna add it into my reports where I had my income statement last time or my balance sheet stuff last time. And so now I'm gonna add my income statement stuff. And so I'm just gonna pull that stuff over, boom. And then I'll, I'll rename it. Now notice I, I named it again. I probably should have named them. I should have started on number five. So let's actually rename these in here. I'll make this one edit number five, imagining that my balance sheet reports were in there. So this is number five. And then this is number six. Hold on a second, edit number six after my balance sheet reports. And then save and close one more time. This one is number seven, boom. So now if I add them to my balance sheet reports that I had over here, this one, I'm going to make number seven. I'm going to right click rename number seven report. So now it's in actually, no, that's number <laughs> rename. That's number five. It's going to be in order. That's number five. Now it deleted the title entirely. Don't do that thing. Don't delete the title. I just want to change the number to number five. Okay. There it goes. All right, then I'm gonna do this one, same thing. I'll just go into here and then I could change the date range and just go if it was the end of the month and then just save it as a PDF, export it, I should say, and save it, boom. And then I'll pull that over into my folder where I want it to go, pull it over and then I'll rename it so I can put the number at number six, right click rename, don't delete the name just add the six in front of it okay and then we can do it one more time closing this out i'm going to go back and with number seven so how easy it could be to go at the end of the month and just bundle this together print them out and boom save as a pdf look at that it's a beautiful system and now we could just do that nice and easy and hopefully there we go. And so then I'm going to right click on this one. And this is going to be number seven, number seven. See, and then once we have all these in a folder, we've got our balance sheet reports, we've got our income statement reports, we could provide this to a client now, either emailing it, but now we've got seven attachments, which is getting quite long. So we don't want just seven attachments on an email, we could zip the file, I could go back to the file here. I'm going to delete the prior zipped file, right click on the file and compress it, compress or zip it, zip it. And there it is. So, so that could be attached to an email. Now, if I go into this, we can also provide this on a cloud drive, like a OneDrive or something like that, or a Google drive, and they're numbered so that they can have some idea of what order they might want to open up the reports in.